15 rolls on there. And uh, I didn't put no air in the airbags again. And then you know that rear leaf spring, the whole front pack's broke out. It's just sitting on the overload, basically. Jax, would you calm down? The air is on, dude. Go over and look out. That's, that's what he likes to do. But, uh, yeah, anyways. So last time what happened was, I'm in third gear right now. I missed second gear. I was in fourth. You can hear it pushing it. So I shifted to fourth. But last time I hit this hill, I missed second gear. So I'm gonna go back to third gear. Just let it wind up. But they put a lot of gravels on here. So it makes it even sketchier. Of course, you know, we're not hauling nowhere near the weight we had last time. I'm about to lose that roll. It's got a strap on it, but you can see it back there. You can see that back there. That roll was about to come off. I haven't lost any yet. I've never lost a load yet, but uh, that's probably right on the verge of coming off there. It's just on there crooked. I should have pushed it over with the tractor, but I didn't. But, yeah, we made it, so. Uh, if I knew no cars would come, I'd stop. This is just a one-line road, but I'd stop and just show you how far a drop-off is over on the rock. It is a long ways down. You, you do not want to fall off of that. But we'll do that a different day, a different video. So, yeah, the turbo issue is... Hang on a second. There, that's more clear. My camera was dirty. There we go. So you can see that roll back here. Uh, so my turbo issue is um, it's seven plus seven. That's the wicked wheel I put in it. It's an actual wicked wheel and uh, wicked wheel. Uh, so the issue with it spooling, it'll spool 30 pounds all day long, but it won't do it unless you're in top rank, top end power. And my other 7.3, it did great with that. But this one, more, I need low end, so we're gonna change it to a five plus five uh, this winter. I'm gonna do all the maintenance on it. It's like a thousand, I got 9,000 miles on this old change, on that new engine. Um, but it, it's mostly just, just driving back and forth out here from the house to the farm. I haven't hauled anything really. Uh, hay and then just, you know, I've done some know a lot of odd and then the heat with the air on but for the dog but um, other than that really I haven't done anything um, so this morning let me let me tell you, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video I, I drove home yesterday from out here didn't didn't do anything or I didn't hit no holes or anything the whole front end of this thing's brand new ball joints everything I come out this morning and look at my steering wheel I started driving down the interstate and I was like, what in the hell is wrong with my truck? So I got, I pulled over, got out. I thought it was a low tire. Nope, it's not a low tire. I have no clue what's going on with my steering, but it just, just did that. Like, it's like somebody drove it while I was asleep, but um, I don't know. If you have a clue of what's going on with my steering, let me know, but I honestly do not know what's going on. There's nothing worse than this crooked steering wheel. But it's pulling bad to the right. So there's the steering wheel. And we're, we're going in a left-hand curve. But you can't tell here, but it's actually pulling to the right really bad. So I had to take Jax to the vet yesterday. I hate going to the vet. That's like the most expensive. You know, hell, I don't even go to the family doctor. You know, I got hurt at work. Oh, so let me tell you. Here's what happened. So... I told you in the video, you know, Larry's backing up to hook the gooseneck up, and I step in between the tailgate and the truck to uh, on this trailer, and it's got that big toolbox on the front of it. Well, he didn't think about the tailgate being down, so it actually made the truck two feet longer, you know, because the tailgate was down. And, man, I'm telling you, for the first week, the whole thing, the whole scenario, every second of it played out in my mind. And I remember screaming, saying, no, 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 stop. And he didn't. Like, and, you know, he's 80 years old, so he just backed right up, and it, it went past the ball. And uh, see, there's 15 pounds of boost. 
the second gear. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, he, but he crushed me. And then he was afraid to pull forward because of the crush injury. He was going, his, you know, his wife, uh, if she's a doctor and you know, he hears about all that stuff all the time, she's working a trauma. So he was trying to call 911. You know, he's not like a super cell phone freak or nothing like that. He actually hates phones, but uh, was trying to figure out how to unlock it. And I was screaming, just, oh my God, you better slow down. She about hit. That's the same male lady that almost hit me yesterday. So, you know, I pull up out here in front of the barn and then unload hay. And I, I uh, yesterday, um, I was hauling a load of hay, and and I was only like four rolls. But she came around that up over that hump right there and almost hit me in the tractor. I told her, screamed at her, you know, slow down. What's the reason why you got to go so fast? But uh, anyways, yeah. So that whole scenario, what happened was I had a hairline fracture that appeared on the CT. Uh, but I'll tell you. So I ended up working for like two hours, and uh, they don't like that at all. Let me pull forward here. So, yeah, I had a hairline fracture. It's in my pelvic bone, and they said there wasn't really anything they could do for it. So, uh, you know, I ended up going to the ER, and they put me straight in the trauma unit. I mean, I was just like, listen, I came in here on my own power. I walked in here. I've been... I went home and took a shower, but the pain was so bad. Like I took Tylenol, ibuprofen, it wouldn't even help it. And I never go to the doctor for anything. After I got hurt at work, it just, man, you know, I had to go to the doctor so much that like, I just, I can't, I despise going to the doctor. And uh, I just don't go. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty healthy, but anyways, yeah, so that happened. And then uh, they said, uh, if it had been an inch or two inches higher, it would have crushed my internal organs and it would have killed me because uh, where it hit at was all the way below my stomach around where, you know, where your belt rod's at. So it, it come in right there and it, it actually, you know, if you feel on the front of each of your hips, there's like a bone that sticks out. It actually got a hold of that and then my you know, my low back's fused. There's, I got a quad fusion. There's all kinds of pins and rods and stuff in there. But it, luckily it didn't hurt none of that. I don't have any pain whatsoever. It took me like four days to get over the pain. Like I just laid around the house and didn't do nothing at all. I didn't come out here. Uh, we took the dog swimming, but like I just, my girlfriend drove and I just walked around. I wasn't right for like two days. It was really miserable. But after that, you know, hell, I come back out here and start working. But I even cut grass uh, the second day, but I couldn't finish the yard. The pain was just so bad, but you know, they don't give you nothing anymore. There's no reason even going to the hospital around here because it's like all the drug problems and shit. So uh, yeah, I just dealt with it and uh, good to go now, but I got very lucky, but thank you all for all the people who said get well and, and commented on it and everything. I appreciate that. That means a lot because you know, I, I mean, like, that meant a lot to me, and I super appreciate all my viewers, and God bless all you all. I hope you have continue to have a safe summer and just, you know, farming or even hauling anything. You know, even loading a foiler in the back of the truck is very dangerous, so just be careful and uh, just don't get in a hurry like I did, and it'll save your life, man. Just pay attention. Good Lord above, man, he's the only reason why I wasn't dead. I mean, like, it, that was, I should have been dead, honestly, but it just, I, it just happened to be in the right spot and everything. But, uh, thanks anyways, and I'll get some more videos out soon.